ဟောင်ကိုယ်ရခြောက်စခုနခုနေမြန်မာနိုင်ငံတရားစီရင်ထုံးစာမျက်နာနံပါတ် 4 Criminal revision before and three others applicants first the union of Parma and two others respondents. Criminal procedure code section 145. Summary proceeding claimants respect the fact of accurate possession question as to whether possession is on behalf of others or in one own right irrelevant. Hell the object of section one hundred forty five criminal procedure code is intended only to provide a speedy remedy for the prevention of breaches of peace arising out of dispute relating to immovable property by maintaining one or other of the parties in possession. The proceeding under Section 145 is a summary and not a regular proceeding. The object is not to provide parties with an opportunity of bringing their civil dispute before a criminal court or of maneuvering for possession for the purpose of subsequent civil litigation. It will be found in subsection 1 of section 145 Criminal Procedure Code that the parties are to make claims as respect the fact of adjure possession of the subject of dispute. Therefore, any question as to whether possession is on behalf of others or one own right is quite irrelevant. Narayana Asari and others first Gandhasami Asari nineteen fifteen CR Law Journal page five hundred twenty five Agni Kumar Das first Mandasati ILR Volume 56, Kel, page 290, FP, Malish A, Alish A, First, Thursday, AIR, 1940, Sin, page 61, refer to Umau Mau for Ula Jo for the applicant, Umyo Ton Lin, Government Advocate for the respondent number 1, U Chen Tong Ang for the respondent number two. U Ke Mao Nyo for the respondent number three. U Jo San U Jesh. This case started with the report made by U Ma Mao Nyi, plaintiff witness one, the police station officer, third respondent, under session 145 of the Code of Criminal Procedure to the District Magistrate of Rangoon on 18 June 1966, stating that Wu Seng applicant number one and his wife, Do Kim Ya, Sin Dasi, so they are cinema known as Nya Yatana in Takeda Rangoon in 1962 to the Burma Government Security Insurance Company Limited of which Unye, the second respondent, is the general manager who listed back to the seller the applicants but due to irregular payments of the Jews, the company on 2nd December 1965 placed its assistant manager Umao to manage it 
and in the course of the management, the services of the applicant's manager, Gu Jiaodeng and Gu Jianwu, were suspended for dishonesty, and in their place, Wu Yimang, an employee of the company, was appointed as manager. But on 14 June 1966. The applicant Wu Xingdang and his wife took the key from the watchman and gave one hundred four point five zero being the sale proceeds of the tickets from Mang Lamy, an employee, claiming that they were the owners and as such they would run the management themselves. These facts are not in dispute. The district magistrate forwarded the report to the seven additional magistrate of Rangoon for necessary action. An inquiry was held in criminal miscellaneous case number eighty six of nineteen sixty six, and the magistrate, after recording voluminous evidence, which was mainly irrelevant for that purpose. Found that the company was in possession of the cinema, and issued a very lengthy order declaring that it was entitled to possession thereof, and it evicted therefrom in due course of law. The object of Section One Hundred Forty Five is intended only to provide a speedy remedy. For the prevention of breaches of peace arising out of dispute relating to immovable property, by maintaining one or other of the parties in possession, the proceeding under Section One Hundred Forty Five is a summary and not a regular proceeding. The object is not to provide parties with an opportunity. Of bringing their civil dispute before a criminal court, or of manoeuvring for possession for the purpose of subsequent civil litigation, the magistrate lost sight of this point. He ought not to have allowed the parties to adduce lengthy evidence, as he has tend to enable or to give them. An opportunity to make use of the evidence in a subsequent civil suit, if any. Being dissatisfied with the order, the applicant Wu Xingdang and his wife applied to the Court of Session, Rangoon, in Criminal Revision Number、no. Thirty Three of Nineteen Sixty Six, to revise it. The session judge, in his order. Day, that January nineteen sixty seven, recommended to this court to set aside the said order on the ground that the possession of the company through Wu Yimang was with the leave and license of Wu Xingdang and his wife. We do not know how the question of leave and license crept in in the course of the hearing. The first applicant wife, Do Kimya, original second applicant, Tai and by our order, day nineteen June nineteen sixty seven, her heirs and legal representative were added in her place. There is no dispute that the company, through its employees, took back possession on fourteen June nineteen sixty six. From Wu Xingdang, first applicant and his wife, to whom the company leased out the cinema, and they took possession in December 1965. Hence, the company was in possession for about half a year. A question was raised before the lower courts whether the document executed by Wu Xingdang and his wife. In favor of the company, is a sale or a mortgage? It is outside the purview of Section One Hundred Forty Five, 
criminal procedure code and the proper place to find out is in the civil court. There is also no dispute that the company was issuing its own tickets with its seal and collecting monies. It is stated that there is a clause in the deed that the company can cancel the lease and call upon Wu Seindang and his wife to surrender possession. It is not disputed that Wu Seindang and his wife approached Wu Nye, the general manager of the company, to take over the cinema until such time they could pay the loan and all their interest due. Consequently, the company took over the cinema and managed the business. It even dismissed former employees. It is clear that Wu Seindang and his wife voluntarily gave up possession in favor of the company. In Narayana Asari and other firms, Gandhasami Asari won a bench of Two judges held Section 145 of the Code of Criminal Procedure is concerned solely with the fact of actual physical possession, whether lawful or unlawful, whether in contemplation of law enjoined by the possessor in his own right or on behalf of others. Therefore, in proceeding under that session, any question as to whether possession is on behalf of others or in one's own right is quite irrelevant. This authority is the complete answer in this case. If one reads Session 145, it will be found in Subsection 1 that the parties are to make claims as respect the fact of adjurer possession of the subject of dispute and in subsection 4 that the magistrate should then, without reference to the merits or the claims of any of such parties to a right to possess the subject of dispute, Paris this statement. The word right is significant relying upon the full bench decision of the Calcutta High Court in Agni Kumar Das v. Manda Zadin II. It was held in Rahi Malishya Alishya v. The State Three that what the magistrate is concerned with in proceeding relating to dispute as to immovable property and a chapter 2 criminal procedure code is not the right to possess the subject matter of dispute, but the actual possession thereof at the day of the order and a clause 1 of section 145. The expression actual possession is plain and unambiguous and has no reference to any right to possess. In the above circumstances, we are unable to accept the recommendation made by the session judge. Let the records be written with this remark.